Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I talk to you about how I use Aurora HDR. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramadi. I'm a French photographer from the beautiful city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. And I'm doing a challenge, 30 videos in 30 days. This is video number nine, nine. And this one is going to be on Aura HDR. Whenever I want to do some HDR and I really want it to look stunning, I use Aura HDR. So yesterday I showed you how I found the sort of the right composition in Will Roger Beach, Los Angeles, California. Today I'm going to show you how I'm doing an HDR with it. So here we go. All right, so yesterday I showed you how, you know, I did a, a shoot at Will Roger Beach in Los Angeles, California and how I, you know, picked a few photos. Now I want to show you how I did some of the HDR. So this is a photo, uh, this is the normal, this is the under, and this is the uh, over photo. And sometimes, you know, when you get a crazy sunset, I like to do some HDR with Aurora because I just love the way Aurora does the HDR. So this is three raw files. I'm going to select all three photos. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go into edit and um, I'm sorry, export Aurora HDR 2017. And because I'm using raw file, I'm going to open original images. And Aurora for now is only for Mac, but in a few, I would say two to three months. Okay, here we have, so we have the minus exposure, the normal exposure, the overexposure. I'm going to click on alignment and uh, I'm not going to do any ghost reduction because I'd rather have Aurora mixed everything up for me. And as I said, uh, Aurora is coming out for a Windows version uh, very soon. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get 20% off Aurora with the link that's below this video and also how you can get all my Aurora IGR, everything that I did about Aurora for free. That's coming up in a sec, but let me show you first how I would retouch, retouch this photo. So right out of, uh, you know, the process, it's sort of already looking great. Uh, and, I, and the one reason I love HDR, uh, you know, Aurora IGR is because of the presets and because of the layers. Let me show you what I mean. If you click here, it says, it says my name is Sir Dremely. Uh, actually, the, um, the, the, the software comes with three packages, Trey Ratcliffe, Captain Chemo, and Serge Remy Preset. I'm going to choose Serge Remy Preset. Why? Because I am Serge Remy, and that's really what I do. I use my own preset. So that's the, the original photo. Uh, I usually go to uh, like Photo Search Basic to start with, or sometimes my Photo Search Basic is a little too bright. I mean, it was a crazy sunset. I think I'm going to use Photo Search Bright on this one. Uh, bright is a good start, so you just pick one of the presets to start, and you can, you know, uh, you can change a few things. Presets, you know, I'm not going to go into all the software. I'm going to give you all the videos for free to get into software, but maybe, you know, let's see what, you know, adding more HDR look on the right or less on the left, you know, making it more natural on the left. Okay, maybe on this one, I want to open up a little bit more the shadows so that I can see a little more what's going on here with this rusty thing here. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And now I'm ready to do my layer retouching. So that's, I, I like the basic idea. And now I'm gonna click here on layer plus adjustment layer. And now I'm gonna take another preset, but I'm gonna use it locally. And that's crazy. That means tone mapping different parts of the photo with different presets. So I'm, for example, I'm gonna take photo search glowy, glowy night. Cause one thing I don't like in HDR is when you know the um, the sky is very uh, you know very detailed, so I'm going to take that and the whole image becomes glowy. But I'm going to take a little brush, and you see if you right click, oh, sorry, here you can see that the softness is at 100% and the opacity is at 50%. So if I brush here, uh, it's going to basically create a mask where everything is going to be uh, invisible. This whole glowy look is going to be invisible except where I brush. And I'm only going to brush the sky. So I'm giving a little glow feeling. Check it out before, after, just to the sky. I love that. Then I'm going to go here on plus, adjustment layer. And I'm going to go to, for example, again, photo search bright or photo search local details. Photo search local details is going to make everything detailed, which is usually what I hate in HDR. But I'm just going to brush just a little bit of details here make my brush much smaller and brush maybe just a little bit here so we have a bit of details here so you see this whole layer is only going to affect a little bit part of this okay now i'm going to click here plus adjustment layer and this time i think i'm going to go to um i'm going to go maybe to photo search bright again 
because I want to make this water a little brighter and just the water there just a little bit of the water so again I'm just tone mapping this and maybe you know uh, I can just go here to adjustment layer and everything is at zero and I can just do a final adjustment maybe add a bit more contrast or not you know boost the exposure a little bit I think maybe it could be interesting to boost the exposure a little bit and uh, if you go down here I can uh, top and bottom adjustment I can lower the the, the top you know uh, exposure to, to make the sky even more dramatic and uh, and voila and I usually that's where I stop here so I'm gonna click on apply and that's gonna bring this back into Lightroom so I'm back here in Lightroom and now I'm just gonna do like a you know I, I love Lightroom for what it's doing for example I'm gonna crop the photo I'm gonna make sure the horizon is straight which is not the case here I'm gonna follow the horizon maybe uh, make it a little more panoramic because I like when things are a little more panoramic. Maybe, you know, add a little graded filter on top here. Just a little bit to, to because I think the graded filter is better in Lightroom than it is in Aurora. Uh, Aurora is good for what it's doing. Maybe another one here to make this a little darker. And, um, you know, maybe open up the shadows even a little more. Bring down the highlights a little more and do a little more of black. And You have to be very gentle on the double development, but just to give it a little bit of, you know, a punch there. And um, maybe make it a little darker and then take a little brush, go to exposure and rebrush very gently with flow and density of the brush pretty low, uh, a little bit of the water really fast. Anyway, you got to check out uh, Aurora, it's really cool, before the brush, after the brush. You know, not a huge deal, let me show you, a backslash key before. Uh, after so you know I didn't do much just added a bit of contrast and voila that's my workflow with Aurora now if you want to know everything there is to know about Aurora two things first if uh, if you go to the Hollywoods the Hollywoodens.com the link will be below this video it's gonna bring you to this page photo search slash Hollywoodens I'm basically promoting my movie called the Hollywoodens and I'm asking basically all my friends and you know students to pre-order it now on iTunes and you know share it and leave a review and you know help me promote this movie and I'm offering because I'm getting a lot of help for free for everyone and of course it's for people who really you know help me promote the movie a free gift that includes all my Aurora GR training you just have to click on download and it's free and you can get a lot more free videos on Aurora also Below this video will give you $20 off Aurora HDR uh, coming to this page. So $79 instead of $99. It's Mac only. Windows is coming soon, but you know it's a cool way uh, to get Aurora HDR. Uh, it's just a promo, maybe for a couple of days. So you gotta take the advantage now. But voila! I'll see you tomorrow in another video. All right, guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like it and leave me a comment and tell me what you would like to learn from me out of the 30 days, 30 tips. Also, if you did not subscribe to my YouTube channel, please take a minute and subscribe. All it takes is one little small click and you will get all the free videos in the world in your inbox. You get notifications whenever one comes out. Last but not least, the Hollywoodens. If you don't know this by now, I'm coming out with a movie called The Hollywoodens. It's being released on the 16th of May and you can pre-order it in 70 stores 77 stores in the world actually if you could take a moment and pre-order it it would mean the world to me i would owe you forever i'm trying to get as much pre-order as i can because if i do your credit card will only get debited on the 16th of may it will make a whole bunch of sales and maybe i can chart itunes there and use that to produce another movie so if you can help me on this i would love you forever last also my photoshop for photographer is out it's my best course on photoshop 66 videos 21 projects i have a lot of people who are sending me emails they're saying it's one of the best photoshop courses that they ever had and i really spend a lot of time trying to do small videos three to eight minutes you know project by projects only with examples no talking just examples 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 check it out if you ever wanted to learn photoshop this is the course you're looking for mesdames et messieurs à demain see you tomorrow